Happy Thursday. Today we are doing Jackie and Stephanie's hashtag dress up Thursday. Um, I believe today is vintage and I already had my little Dylan, which is the Sam kit, dressed and he's in a little Rue uh, summer romper. So we decided to just bring a couple of vintage toys on and I'm sure that will be all right. I absolutely love that roly poly I found. He is in perfect condition. I can't believe I found this on eBay. <laughs> and I had a little roly poly like this when I was a kid and I, probably that's not vintage. It's just flat out antique. But um, little Sam is in his little room outfit and I will bring him over so you can see him. Here he is. It's just got little kangaroo roo all over and it says little roo. It's on an ivory background with um, a light brownish outline of roo and little roo has got blue and mauve and mint green there is uh, numbers, like a number two. There's a little blue, I'm not sure. I think it's a dragonfly, but I'm not sure. There's a three, we'll put him around here. There's a number one. This is a little teddy bear. It's just a cute little outfit. Um, I'm not sure, I know it's from So Loved. I'll dig up the tag if I can and tell you what brand it is. Here we go. It is um, Disney Early Baby. And it's newborn. So this is my little Sam. He's here to stay for a long, long time. I love this baby. I've just not gotten tired of him. <laughs> I... Uh, Actually, I'm thinking maybe about selling my Laura kit. Maybe. I haven't decided for sure. I love the kits. I love the babies. I get them. And after a while, I get tired of them. And like you guys know, I am trying to downsize. I want to get this nursery at eight babies or less. And... Uh, I definitely need a newborn girl. I just don't know. If anyone's interested in her, hit me up. Um, you know, she was rerouted by Betsy Thomas at Beautiful Babies by Betsy, and her hair is gorgeous. It is a very silky, straight, soft, yearling alpaca. Beautiful hair. I have not done a devotional for a while, and I thought I would read from this book today. It's a little lengthy, but um, they're good stories. And this is, is this the right decision? This is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. That's Philippians 1, 9, and 10. Have you ever had that deep down knowing of what to do in a situation but ignored it? I understand. I was home alone recently when a large box was delivered to my doorstep. The delivery man graciously brought it inside, but I figured it might be a bit much for me to ask him to take it past the foyer up the stairs, and down the hall. So there it sat, this mysterious heavy box. Deep inside, I knew this was nothing but some product one of my people had ordered. But I didn't listen to that internal awareness. I ignored it and listened to my fears instead. You know, you've watched one too many mystery TV shows where your first thought about a mysterious box sitting in your foyer is that a person with the scary intentions could fit inside. Yes, a crazy person with weapons could mail himself right into your foyer and sit there all day quietly waiting until you went to bed. 
So I kicked the side of the box to see if there was any kind of reflex action from any living thing inside. There wasn't, of course. But then I decided, just to be sure, I would stand around the corner from the box to see if I could step out of its line of sight and possibly hear something. A cough? A sneeze? Anything? I could leave no room for doubts. No room at all for any possible bad outcome from this box. A box that I eventually opened with a knife, just in case, only to discover a dorm room refrigerator that someone had ordered. I wasted half of my day worrying about a box that contained a dorm fridge. But we do this sometimes. We have a decision to make and we have that deep down knowing. We know what to do. We know what the answer is. But we don't go through with that knowing. We over process the what ifs and the maybes until we find ourselves standing around a corner listening to see if a cardboard box containing a refrigerator might sneeze. Now there is certainly some decisions that need to be processed, but then there are other decisions we just simply need to say yes or no and move on. Find that courageous yes. Fight for that confident no. Know it. State it. Own it. Sometimes it just comes down to that deep whisper within that says, uh-huh, yes, or a simple, no, not that. God has woven us into the ability to discern what is best if we closely follow him. Let's read our key verse again. This is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. As we layer knowledge and depth of insight into our lives, we develop a trustworthy discernment. Knowledge is wisdom that comes from acquiring truth. Insight is a wisdom that comes from living out the truth we acquire. Discernment is wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit's reminders of that knowledge and insight. I know a young mom who has really been struggling with the decision of whether to let her two-year-old go to preschool a couple of half days a week next year as I listened to her, I felt compelled to ask her three questions. Number one, have you been reading and praying through God's word? Number two, have you been applying God's word to your mothering? And number three, have you sought godly counsel and insights from wise people who know specifics about your situation? The answer to all three of those simple questions was yes. So I reminded her that God has assigned her to, this, to be this child's mother. If she had done these three things, then she had the ability to discern what was best. She didn't need to wait for some big neon sign to drop from the heaven to know what to do. If she had that deep knowing that this was no a no answer for her child, then she should not then she should go with that. If she had that deep knowing that this was a yes answer for her child, then she should go with that. It's not about trusting ourselves. Rather, it's about trusting the Holy Spirit to do what Jesus promised us in John 14, 26. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will, will remind you of everything I have said to you. When we've done what we need to do to acquire the knowledge and insight of truth, then the discernment of that truth is there. We must learn to trust and use that discernment because the more we do this, the more wisdom we acquire to make God-honoring decisions. 
So I hope maybe that's helped one or two of you today. And we are going to play with our little vintage giraffe and with our little vintage roly poly today. And I hope that you all have a wonderful blessed day. Um, also, I want to thank Stephanie and Jackie for this tag because I love their tags on Thursday. I hope you guys will join with us and join them in their tags. Their channel, of course, is In Love with Reborns 2011. Have a blessed day, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.